the season in that starting lineup then had the ankle injury and still about about 70 percent according to brian michelson there's jones breaking the scoreless drought dale jones coming off the bench the option for north dakota switching nice moves that. by Back seals to that's a big time post move on the year from behind the arc this is what he does the short corner catches as kispert misses the little bunny on the baseline seals is giving gonzaga all kinds of fits here to start the game Avance out rebounding Larson there. There's a reverse lay-in that will go for Cortez Seals. North Dakota has taken its first lead of the contest. See? Well, folks, we've seen a total of three, 13 makes from the field so far and 11 turnovers. Seals pulls the trigger on that jumper over Jones. Seals continues his impressive play. Ten points now on the night. Five. Is There's this crowd with signs of life as well. Now Tilly picks up the loose ball. Norvell for three. Got it. One point game with 4.45 to play. Far tonight is Gonzaga hasn't attempted a single free throw. I mean, Gonzaga is known for punishing teams by getting the lead free throw line time and time again as Avance has a nice up and under. And, you know, tip, the, tip your hat to North Dakota. They've come out ready to play. Uh, Crandall with three on the shot clock. He took the bait oh, from the... Geez from wow. the crowd. And now it's Stewart over two, Rui and Larson. Wow, tough finish. Fix it up. You gotta find it within your own huddle, your, your own huddle, your own locker room. You gotta manufacture that energy to your point, Sam. Jones for three. He was wide open, knocks it down. Dale Jones. Pull up jump shot. Norvell bounce pass and Williams the flush. That's what I think Zach could sit alive. Big sigh of relief here from Gonzaga. Perkins knocks it down in a work time with 2.50 to play. Pressure's Bulldogs. Getting, pressure's getting in North Dakota now. 1 2 2, doing what you want to do. Speed up the offense. Anytime soon. And that ends that drought for Seals, Cortez Seals. <laughs> it's got to be either Crandall on the pick. In minutes and change the play. Circus wow. shot goes. The oh, shot of the oh, night belongs to Gino Crandall. Oh, Up and boy. under, threw it around. Crandall oh, with man. a heck of a finish. Try to connect with Williams, who was locked up by Avance, who picks up. I just want to see another look at his finish. <laughs> it's Tilly on skates, and Tilly's a good defender, and that he is an impossible finish. Sam Adams, you were excited about that ice ribbon downtown. <laughs> Tilly needing a stop here. Five on the shot clock. The kick out, Jones wide open three at the buzzer. Wow. Beats the shot clock to lead back to seven. If you're going to knock off it, Richard, it has certainly been a different kind of night. Two on the shot clock, Randall for three. Got it. You know, he hasn't really been hunting out his offense. Big sigh of relief here from Gonzaga. Perkins knocks it down in a work time with 2.50 to play. And point lead for Gonzaga, and now a steal by Perkins. Ahead to Norvell. Norvell will finish with a finger roll. Seven point GU lead. Final two minutes here in overtime. Oh my goodness, just when you're ready to count him out, Crandall to stretch for Josh Perkins. Three from Stewart. Back to a single digit game now. I should say a the first half. He's going to continue to be aggressive in a second. Crandall with a quick trigger on the three, knocks it down. But if you're going to switch, switch. You can't give their Perkins. Gonzaga now is a team nine for 10 here in these extra five minutes. Crandall with an easy flush with 6.6. Well, so that happened.